Richard Utting here from Sharpshooting UK. For some years I've been using these barrel tuners and many folks have looked at the videos and asked what these were and what they did. And I've been umming and ahhing about how to explain properly their use. And I think now after some years I'm able to explain how they're going to help folks who have different priorities for, for their shooting, the reloaders, the factory shooters, etc, etc. This is a limb saver, in other words, the guys who do the recoil pads. X-ring deresonator. <laughs> That's a fancy name for a 15 pound piece of rubber. And what it does is, according to where you position it, um, and it, you know, sensitive to, you know, a, a millimeter, as it were, as you slide it backwards and forwards, it dampens the whip of the barrel. You imagine that the gun goes bang and the recoil goes boosh. What actually happens is the gun goes bang and a wave runs down the barrel and then when it hits you here, this step down here, especially with a big tactical stop with a big palm, you get this whip. It's like the crack of a whip. The, the energy goes down the whip and then crack at the end as the ends hit. Imagine that happening left and right, up and down, inconsistently whilst your bullet is trying to come out of the end at just the right moment and in the same place as the barrel moves during the firing cycle. Long story short, when you reload and you adjust your seating depth and to a certain extent the optimum charge weight, powder, everything, you're timing the exit of the bullet with the most stable position of the harmonic shift, should we call it, the barrel whip, the recoil, um, to, to, to give you accurate and repeatable results. So, I have tested this so many times now that I can be definitive about this. Now this is a bold claim, so I've, I've been careful here. If you, there'd normally be a moderator on the end of this. If you move that um, back an inch, that gun, which is currently shooting zeros and point ones, it's just phenomenally good, um, will shoot two inches. Move it another mil, it might shoot two inches left to right. Move it back another mil, it might shoot a little string vertical. Move it back another mil, all in the same hole. The effect that it has on the accuracy of the rifle is absolutely profound. So you've got to use it carefully. What it doesn't do is stick it on your barrel anywhere and your group's half. If you think that's going to happen with anything, you're childishly mistaken. It might. If you put it on in just the right spot, it might be magic and it might halve your groups. But it might also double and triple them. What it is is a variable that you can use to affect your accuracy. So, given a certain amount of consistency in the components, say that each bullet is exactly the same as the next, which is a variable in rimfire ammo that you can never get out, but let's say that the ammo is perfect. If you move that from about an inch behind the moderator and you creep it back and you keep firing, your accuracy will change. Mark my words, that it does work, for better or for worse. What I have found is that using factory ammo, which you cannot vary yourself, you can't change the seating, you can't, you know, you're stuck with it. If you move that back, you can dramatically worsen and dramatically improve the accuracy of that ammo to the maximum potential of the um, ammunition. In other words, if there's a poor round in there with a grain less powder well you know it's it's going to be poor but if the ammo is good you can get it better with the um with the tuner now that's a bold claim 
that's a bold claim. I'm telling you that if you go and get your 55 grain Hornady in 223 and you fire that at the target and you get three quarters of an inch, that by using this, you might get half an inch. You might get it even tighter. Or indeed, you could completely ruin it and go to two inches. You've got to tune it by sliding it backwards and forwards and, until it's in the right position. And what you're doing is you're dampening the whip of the gun. You're changing the recoil to better suit the, uh, the bullet. It's exactly the same as, uh, and the, the guys in the UK have long noticed this, we use moderators all the time, that if you change from a particular mod to a different one, your load can get better or worse. Same with the rimfire. You, you've got your, your, your ammo that you like, you're shooting away, you try a different mod. Oh my God, this is way more accurate than it was last week. It's because you've changed the harmonics of the gun and you've got lucky or you haven't. But with this, you can move it mill by mill until it's in the sweet spot. Now, that's a massive thing. But mark my words, guys, if you've got some factory ammo that you really want to shoot, you know, you're loading 6.5 creed more, you're, you're shooting factory, right? You don't want to reload. You can get the ballistically superior 140 AMAX load. You really want it to shoot. There's only one manufacturer that makes it. It's the Hornady, and it doesn't shoot in your gun. It shoots, you know, half a minute, three quarters of a minute, and that's not good enough for long range. You think, oh, well, what am I going to have to do? With this tuner, you can get it better. And that's really something, given that these um, are 15 pounds. So where these can be handy to the reloader, who can tune all the variables anyway, um, and, and therefore, strictly speaking, doesn't really have a need for um, a tuner, certainly with regard to accuracy, um, as, I, as I said earlier. Where these can be really, really useful is, uh, and I'll give you a direct example. I used to have an Asutra mod on this gun. So I did all my load development with that mod. The load was lovely and um, all sorted. I then changed to this lovely Wildcat Evo, which is a different weight, different center of balance, completely different kettle of fish. And the load went from hero to zero. I mean, it, 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 it just felt awful. It shot about an inch and a half, having shot, you know, point ones and twos. So, I'm now faced with having to significantly redevelop my load, as you are whenever you change moderator. And some of you will be nodding at this because, you know, you change mod and your load changes, so bullets that used to go, don't go, etc., etc. It's all about the harmonics. So I'm thinking, what do I do? So what I did was I put the barrel tuner on, I moved it, if I remember rightly, it had to come back about half an inch. All of a sudden, there's the load shooting into bug holes again. So it changed the um, load without me having to develop anything, without me having to play with seating or whatever. So that's a useful example, and I've actually done that several times because I change mods a lot. Um, it's the same for your factory loads. You can't change the normal variables uh, and indeed rimfire rounds. So if you can change it by some other means, it's going to be useful. You're going to get the maximum out of that um, combination. The combination of the, the, the weight of the barrel, the, the, the timing, the, uh, the, the, the bullet, the seating. You're going to get the maximum out of that combo. It's going to suit your gun as best it can. If you can put this little weight on and move it back. It's so simple, it's uh, it's kind of shocking, especially given that they're only 15 quid. In the bench rest world, you can get these fancy ones which have little micrometer adjusters on them and they, they ratchet it back, you know, super exactly. And I'm sure that's very, very nice. Um, and you could take them off and put them back on in the same place, etc., etc. This system is literally, that won't move now. It's kind of bound on. What you have to do is pick up the back of it, put a bit of... Um, oil under there and then it, it, it starts to spin and you can move it back a bit. So low tech but dead simple and as soon as you leave it in a position it it sort of um, grips and stays there. So very low tech but very reliable.
Now, the bench rest world has kind of known this for a while, but the, the reason why these aren't everywhere is straightforward, is that you can tune what you can tune with this tuner, with this, with this barrel uh, weight. You can tune it as a reloader yourself in other ways. So it's not really needed as a reloader because you could have done it with seating, you could have done it with this or that. So they're kind of an extra variable in bench rest and therefore unpopular because it's a risk. Where I think the real genius of this is, is for the factory shooters, the factory ammo shooters, in that they've got infinitely less variables that they can tune and uh, this will do it for them. However, I'm a reloader and I still use it and I use it for a separate purpose, which I'll go into now. I can use this to deaden the gun with a known load that's accurate in cahoots with the reloading process. If you get this in the right place, instead of the gun having a kind of a twang to it, especially if you've got a big moderator on it, which acts like a sort of pendulum, especially if you've got a light barrel, um, uh, say a stalking rifle, you know, big caliber, um, thin barrel, big mod on the end. When you fire them, the recoil, I mean, I noticed this really badly, now I'm used to it. The gun really whips, it really shakes its head. It's like a tank slapper as it comes back. You want the gun, as it fires, a crosshair to go doosh, just perfectly back towards you and preferably just up, just doosh, straight. And what happens is it goes like that. If you put the um, tuner in the right place, you can kill that whippiness on a gun and have the recoil just push straight back at you. And that makes the gun easier and more pleasant to shoot. And it makes the accuracy potential of you, the shooter, accuracy notwithstanding of the gun, it makes it easier for you to shoot better because the gun just comes straight back at you as you imagine recoil should. And once you get used to using these and you see other people's guns, you shoot other people's guns, when you fire them, they really whip left to right and it makes them harder to control um, on the recoil cycle, which is the crucial element of shooting um, ultra, ultra accurately, is holding that gun still and maintaining that uh, sight picture as the gun recoils. So I am a right big convert to these. Anyway, this is what they look like. There's a large and a small. This is a large one for bigger barrels. You can obviously get a small one for skinny barrels. And you simply slide them along and they change the harmonics quite dramatically, as I've said. So to recap, this adds a variable to your load. If you can't vary your load, you're not a reloader, then it's very useful uh, along the lines of changing something like seating depth. Um, so it's useful for rim fires where you can't change much. It's useful for fixing a problem with a known load when you change your moderator. Um, it is useful for getting the best out of a load that you want to shoot. I'll use the Creedmoor example again, limited factory ammo. You want to shoot that particular load, but it just doesn't really bug hole. You know it's good ammo, other people are getting bug holes out of it, but you, it doesn't suit your gun. Put one of these tuners on, move it backwards and forwards, and you're going to see great changes for better and for worse, and you can take your pick um, at the very peak of, of what that uh, combination will do. Um, for the reloader, you don't really need it, but you can use it to get the rifle harmonically deadened um, in cahoots with with, with, you, with your other loading which is quite useful and you as a reloader you can also use it if you change um, your moderator and that uh, um, knackers your load and, and you want to um, get get it back to where it was without going right back to the drawing board so yeah they're called sharp shooting x-ring deresonators 
from Limsaver. Um, they're quite hard to find. McCloy's in the UK have them. They're only about 15 quid. There's a large one and a small one. Um, I think you should have a couple in your toolkit. 